This is a 90-90 hip shift with abduction. So coming up into your 90-90, I'm gonna think about a slight hip shift. So I'm gonna bring my left knee long, right knee shifts up. I wanna think about shifting into this hip. I'm gonna come up into that single leg bridge position. Inhale onto the balls of the foot. And as I inhale, I'm gonna take this right leg out into that abduction. As I exhale and come back, I'm dragging down the wall. Coming out, abduction, and I'm dragging down the wall. So we have that kind of transverse plane, so that hip shift, and we're also challenging that frontal plane because we're going out to the side and we're trying to avoid any movement through the pelvis. Exhale, drag down. Inhale up, take the leg out to the side, Exhale as you come down. Really also utilizing this left ab wall in this case. Shift, inhale up as you take the leg out. Exhale, bring it back and drag down. So really get this left ab wall on. Inhale as you come out. And exhale, drag down. Feeling glute, hamstring, side abs. Watching and trying to control the rib flare. Only going the leg out to the side as much as you can control. We don't want to feel this in the low back, so we want to make sure we maintain that slightly tucked pelvis and we don't dip into that anterior tilt. So this is a lot of frontal plane control. So I'm going to think about that hip shift on the right, same thing. Inhale out to the side and exhale, come back down. Full exhale. Inhale out, balls of the foot. Exhale, drag down. Exhale, drag down. So this is your 90-90 single leg bridge. We're also incorporating that hip shift but abduction. So reset, hip shift, come up. So you're challenging both the frontal plane and a little bit of that transverse plane with the hip shift and really feeling those upper hamstrings, glutes, and abs as you control the leg going out to the side.